Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner and this is Real Magic Review where I try and find products that are made with a little bit of thought uh, for the people who are actually going to be using them. This week we're going for something a little bit older because it's something I've kind of discovered or rediscovered and I think you should too. This is Roddy McGee's Little Door. So before we crack on with the review, my usual message is please can you go and have a look at my Car Magic course. Uh, that's cardmagiccourse.com. You can get a free spread curl download at cardmagiccourse.com forward slash curl. Uh, and I'm adding about a trick a week on there at the moment. So if you sign up every month, you're going to get at least three or four tricks uh, and some theory. And of course, I answer any questions you may have, usually with a video response. So that's cardmagiccourse.com. Can you also like and subscribe if you are watching this on the YouTube channel? Obviously, if you're on the Vanishing Ink blog, just uh, watch it, have a nice time and share it. That'd be lovely if, if you like it. So the reason I'm doing Little Door, basically a few years ago I was at Blackpool. I, I went last year and then I hadn't been for, a, a this year sorry, and then I hadn't been for a few years. So I remember seeing this trick, I was walking around in the dealer's hall and kind of, yeah, getting excited about certain tricks, but not really seeing anything that new. And then I saw this trick, Flux, which was uh, just an appearance of a name of a card on the back of a card. It doesn't sound that exciting, but when I saw it, I was like, wow, that's really visual. I know we always say that about every magic trick in the world, but it was. It was like something that happened in front of my eyes and, and kind of really, whoa, that's really good. And everybody was getting a bit sort of excited about it. Um, and, and I thought, right, this is, I'll get that. And I took it home and it was great. Uh, and then the next time I was there, he had this trick called So On, which was a trick with a button, which was really interesting because it wasn't a card trick. It wasn't a coin trick. It was just completely original um, trick. Well, I, obviously there's been tricks with buttons before. Melini used to do one. Uh, apparently where he'd uh, take a button off and put it back on that he did for the Queen or something once. Um, but but more original than most uh, and, and a really, and it fooled me, you know, both both these tricks fooled me. But again, that's not much as a magician. That doesn't mean it's a good trick, but it, it is. So then a couple of years later, or maybe the year later, I'm not sure, I was in my kind of magic wilderness years and I wasn't really into much stuff. And I saw a little bit of fuss about a trick called Little Door. Um, on some Facebook pages, and I saw it was Roddy's trick, and I thought, I'll have to check that out, and I kind of just didn't for some reason, didn't get around to it, I wasn't doing much magic, and it kind of bypassed me. Uh, so I went and got Little Door, I bought it back home recently and played with it, and man, I just think, even though it was a big, sort of, there was a lot of buzz about it at the time, I've shown a few magicians it, and they've gone, oh yeah, I never really saw that, so I realised that there's still quite a lot of people that haven't seen it, so I thought I'd just sort of introduce you, or reintroduce you to this trick, because I think it's a, it's a real stunner. So yes, it's a card trick, but it's very different uh, than another card trick. First of all, you don't have to get anybody to choose a card. Now, on the video, there is a version of it where you can choose a card, but I've tried it, and I've tried different things where someone tricks, um, picks a card first, and then I do the trick. And for me, it kind of muddied it a little bit, because I think people are still thinking, oh, how did you find that card? And then you're seeing this other thing, which is the main trick itself. So I've kind of made it as pure as possible, and just basically show people the door thing. And if you haven't seen it, uh, there is some video, there's loads of stuff online. Um, you sort of draw a door and then you, you kind of pull the door back and then put it back and then rub the door off. That's the effect, that's what they see. Um, and you know, as, just by describing that, you can see it's not like another trick. Uh, so that's the effect. And there's a lot to like about this. First of all, it's different. Right, and I know a lot of people say that, and yes, it is with a card, but it is very different. And I think that when I've shown people this trick, because a lot of people have seen a lot of card tricks, even if not by professional magicians, you know, or they might know a couple, this is something they're completely not expecting. Because when you get a deck of cards out, they think it's going to be a pick a card trick. So straight away, they're like, oh, hang on, this is a little bit interesting. I also like the way that it, it brings the focus in. Now, I love tricks like this, and there, and there is a flaw to this as well, but when you... When you, we get people to kind of all crowd around a deck of cards and kind of look in, and that's what happens with cartoon, right? You know, the cartoon, I mean, you've seen this on Britain's Got Talent and all that. You know, it can play big, loads of people do it play big, loads of people do it with cameras. But there is something nice about that. What's that? You're kind of looking in at something, and I think that's a really special moment. And it's funny. You know, when you see that little door and you do it, it just, there's something about it just makes people laugh. And magic does that quite a lot, doesn't it? You know, it's so mind-blowing that people just start laughing. But I think it's funny... A, because it's falling, especially that last bit, which I didn't mention before, when you wipe the door off. I mean, that's the trick, right? They, before that, they think, oh, yeah, it could have been on the box. But you wipe the door off and that, that people just start laughing because it's just so ridiculous. Uh, so it's funny, cute and quirky, different, original. It's easy, right, which is another thing. You know, this has kind of got everything, this trick. 
Uh, and it, uh, you know, a lot of tricks say they're really easy, and then when you get them, they're a bit, they're a bit faffy. And this does got, I mean, there is a moment in it where you have to practice it. It's not completely self-working, but that moment is you almost fool yourself with it. You know, when you do it, you have to check whether you've actually done it or not because you go, you know, the cleanup is really simple and they've got a justification for the clear up on the video, which is really nice, talking about where you peek the card uh, and you end clean. You know, once you've done that clear up and if it's really easy clear up, you, you, you give them the box and they look at it. And, and I've done that every single time. Now, when you get it, you might think, oh, if they look too close, not at all. No, they get that box. They start trying to find the little door and that's the the brick, that's what we want, right? We want people to be sort of almost picking picking away at it. And, and the one last thing, it's instantly, pretty much instantly resettable, okay? So you can literally walk from table to table, you know, you turn one thing over, that's it, and and you, you're ready to start again. So, um, so that takes on to the challenges of the trick. Now, when I said you can walk from table to table, it is gonna be, if you're in low light and you've got a big table, it's probably not gonna work. And if you go, you could do it at one bit of the table. I haven't done it at a, at a booked event yet, but you could do it at one bit of the table and then go, look, I'll show you guys now, which is quite nice, isn't it? When you've got that, when you've got that thing where people have to look close, you can actually repeat the trick. Say you're repeating the trick and people aren't gonna see how you do it because they're not looking, you know, because it's so close quarters. I hope it makes sense. Um, so that, that's a challenge. Um, there's a tiny, tiny bit of prep when you buy it, and it's not like extreme burn prep where I sit there for an hour and a half, it does my editing, which is totally worth doing, but you know, it's a little bit of prep and you get everything you need to do that prep. My kids like it, and that's a big deal. The bit of footage on here is my daughter seeing it for the first time at Blackpool this year, and she's seen a lot of magic. She doesn't know how a lot of magic is done, um, but enough, you know, because she sees me practicing and she, you see her faith on that. It's, that moment is just why we do magic and I've said it before. So I like this for a number of reasons. A, it's a good trick. A, it's, uh, 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 a, a, an A? No, it's B's after all, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so I know I do that a lot, I've been told by the way, that a lot on this uh, review show I go A and then I never do a B, C and D, I know, and I do that with numbers as well. Um, but I will try and remedy that. But I like it because it's a good trick and all that, but I also think people like Roddy are are important, very, very important in magic. Now, every single trick that he's made, and I haven't seen, I actually haven't actually seen a couple of them, you know, might not be the biggest, most fooling, most incredible trick in the world, but they're different enough because he's actually trying to find a new way into things. And that's really difficult. I think it's easy to scour through your tarbells, and this happens a lot, you know, you go through, through your books, find the older tricks that are brilliant that, no, that everybody's kind of forgotten, and then you kind of re-release them with a little quirk, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I do like people that discover tricks for me, because I haven't gone to do it and, and, and bring it to light, and, it, and that's great, and that's easy to do, but it's not easy to, to come up with something new or something quirky and different and I think that's what moves magic forward these are the people even coming up with a new idea which will spark a whole almost whole genre of new ideas and this new trick Frankendale which I'm not reviewing yet I was gonna but it's not available at the moment so you don't want me to review something you not be able to get it um, so I thought I'd review this one I'll, I'll review Frankendale soon but Frankendale has taken a concept that we've seen a couple of times and doing it in a, again a really kind of surreal odd way which I just think is hilarious and, and, and great so look out for that review. So there it is, uh, Roddy McGee's little door, give it a Google and you'll be able to find it. So uh, have a good one, thank you very much, please do go and check out cardmagiccourse.com, um, $9.99 a month, even if you get it for a couple of months you'll get loads and loads of moves and all that uh, and any questions do let me know. Thank you very much and uh, thanks again for Vanishing Inc for helping me out to get this to a wider audience and have a brilliant day, cheers.